speak to you about the mark of the beast this morning. The mark of the beast. Revelation 13, beginning at verse 15. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. And he causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell, save he had the mark, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him that has understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is six hundred, three score, or sixty and six. syringe in the fleshy area beneath the thumb. The process lasts only a few seconds and is not painful or bloody. It's the chance to be chipped under the skin of their hands. So forced all people, great and small, rich and poor, free and slave, to receive a mark on their right hands or on their foreheads, so that they could not buy or sell unless they had the mark which is the name of the beast, or the number of its name. This calls for wisdom. Let the person who has insight calculate the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man. That number is 666. Six, six. will head this government upon his appearing. The foundation has been laid and the stage set for the events to follow. He will implement a mark, a pledge of allegiance for all those who wish to buy or sell and live sustainably for what short time they have left. This is the mark of the beast. And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast, for it is a number of a man, and his number is six hundred three score and six. If anyone worships the beast and its image, and receives its mark on their forehead or on their hand, they too will drink the wine of God's fury which has been poured full strength into the cup of his wrath. They will be tormented with burning sulfur in the presence of the holy angels and of the 666. Verse 16 tells us that the false prophet will cause everyone to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man will be able to buy or sell without this mark, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. Once they give me the Pledge of Allegiance, they will be mine for eternity. And those that aren't are dead. <laughs> 